able to call each other because of bad cell service, but were able to get in touch through their son who lives in Kirksville. KOMU8's Dan Kennedy is standing by with the names of all of our local runners who were it there running in the race and an interactive look at where the explosions took place on the course. Dan? Thanks, Brittany. As we all know by now, it was a big day for the city of Boston. Patriots Day, the Red Sox played, and of course, that marathon. And now we have a list of all 16 entrants from around mid-Missouri and in Columbia. The youngest is 29, the oldest 66. We've also been able to find one runner from Fulton and one from Jefferson City. And now we're going to show you a look at that course uh, where they were today. It's a standard marathon distance, 26.2 miles long. If you look at the map, take a closer look. That green square that says 26, that's the location of the blast this afternoon on Boylston Street. And if you've ever been to Boston, that's about a mile away from Fenway Park, which the runners pass on mile marker 25. Today, the New York Times took a closer look at where those explosions took place. Go onto their website. It shows that about 3 p.m. on the north side of Boylston, there towards the bottom of your screen, that was right in front of the public library. That was the first blast. And the second one, up towards the top of your screen, that was where the second explosion happened about 10 seconds after the first, each about 550 feet apart. And uh, Google also created a website today to help folks get in touch with loved ones uh, because it's very difficult to get in touch with people. You can log on and provide information about someone's whereabouts or request information. Anybody can do that. And then I just found this a couple hours ago. This is a Google document created where folks can share and offer places to stay, complete with their names, numbers, and addresses. Brittany, just an incredible outpouring of support from folks here in the area. Thanks, Dan, and be sure to stay with us both on.